guys, and welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we are doing When a Hoarder Tries, the Kamari Method for her fall and Halloween home decor. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder, and I conceal my identity by putting the sunglasses on and the phone in front of my face because I'm still feeling a little too, woo, vulnerable to admit to the world who I am, and here's all my messes. <laughs> But yes, I decided to do a Kamari uh, video on all the fall decor because I have so much of it. And I did kind of take a break from my Kamari method videos from earlier in the year. I just needed a mental break. I just needed a little mental reset. But now I'm feeling a little stronger in my journey of healing myself of hoarding. So I decided, hey, why not? And what's the best way to welcome it back is to going into the fall Halloween decorations. So without further ado let's get started all right guys we are down in the basement and this is the halloween slash fall section right over here so whatever's on top of that that bin that bin the bottom bin and then these ones in the back uh so it's one two three four a little box and then a costume so that's what I got to drag upstairs. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> All right, guys. So I pulled an empty tub to start putting the loose things that was on top of here in there so I could carry it up easier. Guess, guess what I found. I want to go lift up this box. Hey, it's Halloween candy from last year. Kid you not. Oh my God. God, like seriously. Well, at least that's an easy tossy tossy. We can start off the bat throwing stuff away. Oh my God. <laughs> hey guys, here's all the bins for fall, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. And you know what? I actually, I did this last fall too. I did the same thing. I pulled all the tubs out and I got rid of a couple of things as well. So, um, of course, I, I made sure I put the link in the description box below if you want to check out last year's. But I feel like every year I have been pretty good consistently downsizing um, the fall stuff. Because when I go to the stores, I am just like, I love it. This is so cute. I want to buy all the fall decor because... I get sad that summer ends. <laughs> so the need to buy fall stuff to, you know, trigger my mind to be like, oh, I'm happy because the fall stuff's so pretty to get my mind off of, you know, sad that summer is done. But <laughs> anyway, yes, let's start pulling all this stuff up. took a pause on the Kamari method for a hoarder. This is so overwhelming. <laughs> uh, and they were my most popular videos. They were, they had the most views. And now I remember why <laughs> I took a break from it. Cause when you see it all, all over the place, it is so overwhelming and it's like my anxiety is right there in my throat ah <laughs> but 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 this is a good thing i also remember the ending of these videos and the ending of these videos i felt good after i did it because i felt like 
like I, I did it, I could do it. So I'm going to keep in mind that as I'm recording this right now, I'm showing you. <laughs> I know. This is accumulation of stuff that yes, maybe I have bought, but some of it I've yard sailed. Some of it people have given me and some of it I've even curb picked up that people were throwing away. So I am not thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in debt. So anyway, coming back to this. Yeah, guys, here we go. Ah, uh, okay. So, so obviously this is all like fall, Halloween decor stuff. And this video, I'm going to just put it all up. It's, it, it's September. I can put it up now. This is all the kids stuff. There's a ton and a ton of kids stuff. Ah, <laughs> that's a lot to go through. So I'm just going to have to whoo, bear down and go through it, honey. This is from my childhood right here. I'm not going to let that go. There's there's no way. The connection is too strong. Not this. My son made that. Um, this, this, and again. Because this stuff is so old and I used to put it in my bedroom to decorate when I was like a little girl. There's, let me empty that one out. There's no way I'm going to be able to um, let it go. It's It's too old little cauldron a little kitty cat cauldron i'm not gonna be able to let that go it's it's too sentimental and marie Kondo said for the sentimental things you know hold on to it do it last or, or hold on if it brings joy the only shades of gray that i have with the kamari method and finding joy for hoarders is that we find we find joy in everything everything brings us joy okay so it because it's attached to a memory it's either attached to a memory, uh, a life purpose. We don't want to fill it in a landfill. We don't want to throw it away. It's wasteful. It makes us happy. But the main thing for me is that it, believe it or not, it keeps my anxiety calm. Because if I throw away too much stuff, it feels like a great loss comes over me. Such a great loss. And it creates almost a panic attack in me. I shouldn't say almost. It does create a panic attack in me. So I avoid it by holding on to it. It's it's a survival mechanism. So yeah. So up here, here's Thanksgiving. We got some Thanksgiving right over here. Like these right here. Then over here are the costumes. And then I look at this like, where do I start? Where do I start? And I think maybe the best pop for me to start is getting my husband's costumes. We get very much into Halloween. We love our costumes. We have sold our costumes in the in the in the past. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is get his costumes all together so I can get rid of that to the side. Let him decide what he's keeping, what he's selling. I I'm pretty sure he's selling a lot. So, all right, guys, let's let's get in here, honey. All right, as I look at all of this. I think the best thing for me to do because it's September is to just start putting the fall decorations up that really, truly, you know, the bigger joy versus the lesser joy. So I think that's going to be best. We're going to just start, I'll just start decorating and putting all the pretty things that I love up. So by putting a lot of the fall decorations up, it really put a nice dent in that uh, mess. So I feel really, really good with that. Of course, we still have to do the kids side now and I'm starting to lose sunlight. <laughs> but I feel pretty good about this. Now, I think my next step with putting like with like together is I'm going to see, see all these like crafty like picks and like the leaves. I'm going to put that together with like with like. Um, because I know this sounds crazy, but for me, it's therapeutic. I want to do a little crafty thing for fall using stuff that I have. It's very therapeutic. So I think it's best with putting the like with like, I'll put that stuff together and then I can go start sorting right over here in the kids because uh, that one's really emotional. All right, guys, here's the kids section stuff. Ah, this one as a hoarder, it's going to be really uh, difficult for me. This is where the emotional attachments are pretty, pretty strong, but I need to make sure that I let some stuff go and not chalk up everything as joy and a memory. So, I mean, let's just start off real easy, like tossy, tossy. We can get rid of that. That's easy. Um, same with that. I mean, I 
yeah, we can let this go. There's no need for this. So these are treat bags, right? And how I did with my other video where I did the little back to school thing, you're gonna see I have so many things to make treat bags. So I need to make sure, matter of fact, I'll use, I'll, I should do a video on it. <laughs> so I stay accountable, but to do that, to actually create the treat bags for the kids class, because I do love that. So any of those Chotsky things, which there's gonna be a ton in this pile, I have to put in there. Um, oh my gosh, like see, like this is so cute. Does it bring me joy? Yeah, it does, like. <laughs> Ah, okay, well, okay, we'll put that to the side, we'll put that to the side. Uh, I had this, yeah, see, I saved a lot of these because la a lot of last minute we'll do trunk or treats, and I'm like, oh, I need stuff for trunk or treats, or because my oldest, he wants to decorate for Halloween this year, so I feel like I have to hold on to it, but Halloween bags, here's, I got a ton of Halloween bags that I have to put all together. Halloween bag, Halloween bag. There's some more over here, more Halloween bags, lots and lots of Halloween bags. I'll put them together. I have to make sure that I'm letting some of that go. More Halloween decor for like the trunk or treat stuff. Uh, all right, let's get that to the side. What's this, more random? I think, oh, this is more like treat bags. See what I mean? Like there's so much that I must use it this year. This year I use it. Um. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> let it go, right? Let, 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 it go, let it go. Um, this is a tossy tossy. This is very old makeup. I can't use that. We can get new sponges. It's not that expensive. Um, I feel good letting this one go too because it's. Uh, I know what this is. It was a craft, but the pieces are pretty much like missing. And that's another thing. There's so many craft things that I need to make sure that we're actually working on it. Here, see, here it is. It was a reflector uh, wristband, so this is a complete one. And this is another, oh, this is like a little frame. Look, 2015, that's how long ago it was. So, oh, look at these. These are like, oh my God. Oh, these are old. Um. Oh, see, this is where the hoarder and me struggles. Okay, well, we can get rid of that. Um. Oh, but this broke too. Eh, I gotta have to let go. I think these are such really cool old pieces. Like, oh, uh, well, there's only one earring, so we can let that go. Um, that's so cool, right? Just, I'm just gonna keep a couple of the old, really vintagey kind of pieces, and then the other stuff I can let go. But I don't know why this makes me very happy. Like, it's just old, cool Halloween stuff. All the crafts. Oh my God, you guys, look. Plates for the classes. This is literally, oh, look how cute that is. Okay, this video is gonna be an hour if I go through every gosh darn little thing. See, look, treat bags. Treat bags for the kids for second grade. We're making them. That could be prizes. I'm totally, oh, another little pin the game for the class. Perfect, see, I don't have to buy anything. And napkins and a sign. I'm gonna separate a lot of this off camera. This is gonna be an hour long video if I just sit here and commentary on every little thing. So, all right guys, real quick back to the trick or treat bags right here. Um, These are all the trick or treat bags that we have collected over the years. And yes, I, I only have two children, that's all I have. Um, I don't know why this is creating extreme anxiety in me. Uh, the letting this go is making me really anxious where I might I, I kind of need to step back and take a break That's kind of why I always say that this is when a hoarder tries the Kamari method uh, Because we'll stumble across certain emotional things that will make us for me extremely anxious uh, Others uh, I feel like a lot of them a lot of people suffer from depression So I'm struggling with this one a lot um the goal for me is just two, believe it or not. I feel like I can handle two. But for whatever odd reason, the extreme uh, attachment that I have to the trick-or-treat bags, it's just, I'm going to freak out. I really am going to freak out. So I just wanted to share this with you because I really want everyone to understand the mind of a hoarder. All right, guys. So here are all the trick-or-treat bags. And I did keep them, okay? I think the reason why the emotional attachment is so strong was because I remember when they were very, very little carrying the trick-or-treat bags, like these past ones. These are the ones that they use now. But 
Yeah, it's such a strong emotional attachment. I'm not allowed. I, not, not that I'm not allowed. I'm not strong enough or I'm not ready to let it go. These little decorations right here, the kids are, they want to go put them in their room. So they're going to let them decorate this. This over here are all the crafts. So these are all the crafts. These we are definitely making this year. Yes, yes, yes. We are making them. And these are pretty sentimental too. But I'm holding on to a lot of them because here is the... Um, the uh, Halloween class party stuff because I love being that room mom and I always go like crazy for the parties because I absolutely love it. That brings me extreme joy. So I don't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff when I have so much that I could use here. This just goes in the kitchen, a couple of little kitchen things. These are actually things that we use on Halloween. This is what I have for the trunk or treat, uh, you know, in case we decorate a car. Here's the crafty section. So we have a crafty section over here. And this, guys, is a letting go pile. And maybe it's not that much to everyone else, but to me, uh, this feels like a lot. And I still have some more things to go through. So for me, I feel proud of myself letting this go. This is what I feel comfortable letting go of. I put uh, a lot of the kids' fun stuff back into this bin for now. But I just want to be mindful and make sure, let me say it again, that see all of this stuff when Halloween comes, that I'm going to make the goodie bags for my friends, kids, using all those bags that you saw, the little treat bags, and using all this stuff and not buying anything new in October, using only what I have to save money, and that by Halloween is all done this year, this tub will only be half full. All right, guys, so a lot of the stuff that is over here is pretty much Thanksgiving. And I kind of feel like I don't even have that much Thanksgiving stuff. And um, I'm going to put some of it back in the tub. But all these little decor things, again, I'm going to put all of these together, take them out of that tub, because I really want to create something with it. So if I have them all together, I can really, really think about what I want to create because I really want to do a fall DIY. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put everything, uh, most of the stuff, if I, feel, if I see a piece of trash, like obviously this is a tossy tossy. It's a melted candle. I feel good letting that go. I think there was another one as well too, right? And believe it or not, I think I'm feeling pretty good about trying to sell these. They're really cute and adorable, but clearly I haven't used them. And I actually feel pretty good about selling them, so I think I'll definitely put that in the sell pile as well. So, all right, let's uh, let's start putting them back in. All right, guys, so we got the Thanksgiving stuff back into the tub. I feel good about that. And now the last leg of this video is the Halloween costumes and makeup. So much. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, I actually feel good purging a few costumes. Uh, the Fortnite ones, I feel really good selling them. They're in good condition. I feel good selling Pokemon. I actually am not feeling any type of um, attachment. This is a, what you call it right here? Okay, this is a Fortnite costume we can get rid of. Uh, this is another one that we can sell and feel really, really good about that. Uh, right here. I feel good letting this one go as well so we can let the forest fairy go. <laughs> uh, as we get a little over here in the more fun side, <laughs> if you will, the fun side, this is where it's gonna get a little harder, like my tutu and my gem costume and my my little pony costume oh that one's hard i actually feel okay selling princess peach so i feel good about that one so i'm gonna go ahead and sell that and my let's see yeah this is so cute i love this one this is candy delicious but i made it into a unicorn uh, costume last year so oh that one no but like tinkerbell now mind you i did wear this costume a long time ago but i had a long petticoat on it too because i can't be doing that uh -uh. but guess what tinkerbell i feel good you can go tinkerbell <laughs> And then, let's see, it kind of brings us over to the makeup. Now, here's the thing. Some of this makeup is really old and probably 
not good for our face because I know that these things, you know, it can be really bad for your face. So I think I feel good letting this go because I know that's at least three years old. Look, there's like sweat on the top of it. That cannot be good for our skin with bacteria. These are brand new though. Ooh, that's brand new. These, mm, yeah, they've been out. They're probably funky dunky. This one was in a Ziploc bag though, but I feel like, I mean, for the cost of how much they cost, I'd rather get a brand new set than chance like getting some kind of bad bacteria on my face. Even this one, we can let that go. Ooh, that one is sweating bad. I think the only one that I would feel okay with, but I don't even know how old this is. That's the only thing. I think that we can keep this. This one's okay. This one, I'm kind of on the fence. I know I probably should definitely let it go. All right, guys, so here are the costumes that are back in my costume bin that I love, love, love. Brings tons of joy now. My tutu, my Candyland costume, my gem costume, yes, yes. Those were keepers, but look at all the ones I'm letting go of. For me, this is a lot, and especially that I'm getting rid of some of my, my kids' uh, costumes, which... I'm surprised I'm not feeling an emotional attachment or anxiety right now, so I'm just letting it flow. So I'm so proud that I am letting all of those costumes actually go. And then right over here, guys, so here's where I put all the craft and supplies that are full. So I'm gonna keep it in this bin. I'm gonna keep it with all my crafty crafty. All right, guys, here we are. Here is what we are purging and letting go. We are letting go of all of these costumes. And we're letting go of all of this down here. Now, this is a lot for me as a hoarder, especially because I have extreme attachments and sentimental values to holidays and my children's things. I really have strong attachments and my anxiety is triggered when I give away certain things or an overwhelming amount of stuff at one time. So for me, this is really, really, really good. And this is also my second go round, right? I did this last year and purged some things, which reminds me to, let's see, fess up. So I think, now I haven't watched last year's video yet, but if I remember correctly, I think I wanted to let go of this and I wanted to let go of that. Uh, this is very common in a hoarder is that sometimes you say it and you're ready and then let's say the next day or a little after you're like wait a minute why did i say that i need to i i can't i need to and like you're fixated on it and your anxiety is skyrocketing and you're like i can't let that go anymore i can't i have to pull it back and i believe this and that may have been one of them if i remember correctly but this year i do feel a lot more confident letting them go i'm gonna sell or give away things in this pile and then this pile is just just tr uh, straight up trash like that we're just getting rid of so yeah um guys i'm gonna wrap up this video this was a pretty long one but i hope you enjoyed it and uh i hope i could uh and help to inform a little bit how a hoarder mind works as i'm doing this again that's why i call it trying the kamari method because it's a lot but i feel good about myself i am very 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 proud of what i let go of all that and let go of all that. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video and I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, bye.